Hey guys, I'm ZSH Plays and welcome back to the Wetlands Florida. Today we're going to be turning a small part of Florida into India for the new wild water buffalo uh, and some Indian peafowl as well. So I'm just making a little custom fence here and then we're going to place it all around this area and get things underway. So we're building here just past the uh, crane aviary. This is the path that's going to take people round in a loop to the rest of the zoo. I don't know about you, but these wild water buffalo, when the wetlands pack was announced, they weren't really one of the animals that I was excited about, to be honest with you. But uh, turns out I was wrong, because when I put the first of these into this habitat, wow, these guys are impressive. I kind of thought they'd just be like slightly larger cows, but no, these are some serious beasts and they've got some serious horns as well. So I think I'd originally planned to have maybe 12 or so in this habitat. But I quickly revised that down to six with enough space for some babies as well. But yeah, I really like these guys. I was tempted to start a whole Indian area, but this is the wetland zoo and I didn't want to go too crazy or sort of lose sight of what this zoo is supposed to be all about. So um, in the end, I decided to just have one habitat for these wild water buffalo, add some peafowl as well. But we are going to go pretty heavy on the theming with this. I want to get a real Indian vibe going on in this habitat. I'm going to concentrate on scenery and it's going to have its own entrance. Just really set that Indian vibe for the guests when they get to this part of the zoo. So the part of India that we're going to be going for is the state of Assam, which is where most of the remaining wild water buffalo live. They are very rare these days, unfortunately. I'm lucky enough to actually have been to India. Uh, it's an amazing place. Chaotic beauty is how I would describe it. I'd highly recommend it, but I've never been to Assam. I've been to Mumbai and Goa, but I did some research as always, found some good reference photos, and that's what I'm gonna try and evoke here. Obviously, we're gonna have a wetland in the middle of the habitat for the buffalo, and then I'm gonna fill the rest of the habitat and the entrance to the habitat with some buildings and structures and things inspired by the photos that I was looking at. Um, so it's going to be a bit of clutter in this habitat. I, I like a bit of clutter. Um, there's loads of Indian pieces in the base game um, already, which is really useful. So we're going to scatter a few of those around. And then the main feature of the habitat, apart from the landscape, is going to be a barn for the buffalo's shelter. And that is based on a barn that I found over in Assam which we will build in a second. It was fun doing this I don't normally use a lot of the sort of pre-made objects in game normally I just use the building pieces so it's fun looking through all the different stuff that we have so it's a real sort of um, low budget falling down slightly decrepit kind of barn feel which is the was the photo that I was looking at that's what I'm going to try and capture here um, using these straw pieces the walls are made of straw in the um, or covered in straw at least in the photo that I was looking at. I don't think I've ever used these straw pieces before. I think they're from the African theme, but they work really nicely. I really want this habitat to look run down and lived in and not like super cheesy zoo theming. Just try and make it feel uh, like a, a field over in India rather than a super landscaped zoo enclosure, I guess. And then we've got something you see a lot of it in India, which is this sort of rusted old corrugated roof um, and it had a double roof this barn which I really liked which I thought would make it interesting it shouldn't look uh, expensive or you know like some amazing design or anything like that it should look like the sort of rundown cheap barn that you would find in the countryside uh, in that part of India and I just love this double roof uh, I couldn't work out what purpose it served um, I don't know if there's supposed to be anything up there but it just looked unusual and cool while still being really sort of cheap and utilitarian not like it had been sort of specially designed there's two areas a completely enclosed area where presumably they would spend the night and then uh, an open area where their food uh, would be kept now let's talk about plans for the rest of the wetlands. So I have listened to your feedback and you guys are absolutely right. We cannot build a zoo here in the Everglades without alligators. They weren't in my original plan, but, but I completely agree. They've got to be here. So what's going to come up next is after this habitat, 
there's going to be a habitat for the Nile Leshway, uh, which I've got a really cool idea for. I'm not going to say what it is right now, but I've got a really cool idea for that habitat to incorporate a restaurant, and we'll get onto that soon. And then the big walkthrough habitat for the spectacle Cayman that I spoke about, that is going to become a walkthrough for the American alligator. And then we're going to have a separate habitat for the spectacle Cayman. And then, of course, a habitat for the platypus, which I'm really looking forward to building, and the Flamingo Lake. So probably the Nile Leshway next, but we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Back to this build, um, we're going to put a load of custom wood pieces all around it to try and make it look uh, structurally sound. Like a lot of these old barns, it should look like it's sort of falling down, but at the same time, it's probably been there for decades and it's still fine, so it probably isn't actually falling down. That's the sort of uh, vibe that I'm going for. And then on the inside, I'm using some feeders uh, from a workshop pack by Leader. Uh, I've used his items a few times before. He's absolutely amazing at building these sort of detailed small objects. So always a good excuse to use anything that he's made. Uh, and then we're gonna make a little sort of, I don't know what you'd call it. I'm not sure if it's a shrine, but it's like a small place um, presumably for worship or once intended for worship you see them all over India some of them are still used for that purpose some of them are used for like advertising hoardings and things like that so I wanted to try and replicate that here put a few of the Indian posters up which are one of my absolutely favorite in-game items I think these are amazing back when I first started playing Planet Zoo these went absolutely everywhere because I didn't know how to build anything. And these were one of the in-game pieces that just instantly makes everything look good. Uh, but it's been a long time since I've used them, so I enjoyed putting them back in there. I'm just gonna put a few more pieces on and get this looking the way I want it. Uh, the sort of dome on this, I think that's more of a sort of Islamic style minaret it's from the North Africa pack. But that's the closest thing that we've got in the game for what I was looking for, so hopefully that's, uh, hopefully that's cool going to improve the in-game habitat gate and make it look like it's actually part of this fencing rather than just hide it which is what I often do but I decided to work with it this time and seeing as we had a wooden fence it made sense to use some of the wood pieces and make the gate sit nicely onto that fence and look like it's part of it. It's kind of weird building out of wood not something that I ever really do in this game but it's been fun trying all sorts of new materials and styles and things like that in this suit. We're pretty much done with the uh, the habitat now. There's just one more thing that I'm gonna add to it to bring some more Indian style in. Uh, we'll take a look at that in real time. The final bit of decoration I'm gonna do is these flowers here to give it a, an Indian feel. Flowers are a big aspect of decorations and festivals and things like that over there. And because it's flexicolor, we're gonna put a little different colored flower alternating between blue and pink on each fence post. And I think this will give this a really Indian vibe. Now it's on to the other part of the build, which is to build an entrance for this little habitat. I wanted the habitat to have its own entrance so you really feel like you are sort of going somewhere and in somewhere once you've passed under it. I think that's gonna sell the uh, sort of Indian flavor that we want here. So this is based on a national park in Assam, which I found a reference photo of the entrance to. Just so when you get to this part of the zoo, you really feel like you're entering a different part away from the Everglades and into India, <laughs> even though it's only one habitat. Just basically copying the reference photo, using a load of the wood pieces to get this sign up. A few decals, of course, to weather it a little bit more. I think these are the only decals I used in the entire build, if I recall correctly, which is pretty amazing by uh, my current standards. Put some more wood around the sign. I'm gonna shrink it a bit as well. It was a little bit big when I, uh, when I first built it. And then, going to get loads of vegetation in make it nice and green and lush and welcoming and then on either side we're going to have these little brick pods they actually had statues of rhinos in in the national park that I'm copying this from um, but I'm not going to have any rhinos in this zoo so I didn't want to put those in so I'm going to have a load of bamboo and some other flowers in here and use them sort of like flower beds I really, really like these new, uh, well, they're not new anymore, I guess, but from the Europe pack, these cobblestone wall pieces. Um, the fact that they're recolorable just makes them so versatile. So we've really got this sort of sun-blasted, yellowed Indian kind of brick here, rather than the gray that you'd use normally. And I'm gonna use some more European pieces for this little bit of fencing. 
that goes round it as well. You see a lot of this kind of architecture in India, real mixture of European and Asian styles, especially in the older buildings there. Um, Going to use those same flowers on here as well. I really like these. I think they give it a really nice uh, sort of welcoming and very colourful look, which contrasts nicely with the more beige colours in the brick. And that is the build done. I really hope you guys like it. Stick around for the cinematics. Uh, I'll be back soon with another build here in the wetlands, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.